Hey gang, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick Outlook tip of the day. As you can see here on my screen, this is the error we're going to be talking about. This error has been popping up now for a couple years, and from what I've found, it comes when you are doing an exchange to an, an exchange migration or something similar to that. Um, I'll show you here in the control panel where to check first. So the first thing you want to do is go to the mail app there and open it up and take a look at your profiles. Now typically, if a client, if you're helping them, they have multiple profiles for different email accounts. You know, let's say they have one for an old Yahoo pop. That should not be affected, so you should not have to delete it. But let's just say this one here is the old exchange, and this one here is the new exchange, okay? Typically, they don't like each other if you get that error. So what you want to do is, before you go and delete any other exchange profiles, is to make sure that you have all the data backed up first. I highly recommend you go to the old profile, back up the context calendars, any other folders. Um, in fact, I would just export the whole email account out just in case, because once we delete this profile, it's gone. And the OST files will probably go with it. So anyway, let's say this is the old one and this is the new one. Then what you want to do is go down after you uh, check out your profiles is go to, hold on, over to here, the app data folder local Microsoft Outlook, and in here you're probably going to see a couple duplicated exchange um, OST files. So once you delete a profile of the one that's the old one, then the other one should just naturally go away, which I don't like that it does that because in case of data, you know, you need to go get it. But you also might see in here, now this isn't a file that's saying that, but I'm going to show you. It says 16,424K, uh, which is like the 16 meg file. This is kind of standard now in 16 and 13 when you set up a, a new exchange account and it might say NST next to it. Well, if your old profile has an NST next to it and it's still lingering after you remove the profile from over here, then you have to delete the NST over here as well. So let's just recap real quick. You want to go to the profiles, the two here, make sure you have the data backed up from the old one, then delete it, then leave your good one, and then come over to the app data folder and make sure that there's no lingering from the old profile and then try firing up Outlook and hopefully it'll work. If that does not work, then what you need to do is go actually remove all the profiles, not every single one, uh, just the exchange ones, and then see if that helps. And then if that does not help, then you might want to try downgrading to 2013 because I have found that 2016 is still very unreliable and there's a lot of bugs with it and downgrading generally fixes most problems. That's it today, folks. If you have any questions, you can call me at 612-865-4475. You can email me, lisa, at callthatgirl.biz. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe it. Thank you.